In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father, we thank you this night. King of kings and the Lord of lords, we want to appreciate you. Thank you so much for the privilege you have given to us to pray. You told us in your word that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And so, God, we thank you once again, even sparing our lives to see another beautiful Sunday like this. What a glorious day. The day of resurrection, the day of power, the day of anointing. And so we have come to you at this time, oh God, to honor you and to worship you. Father, we are praying that tonight, oh God, you will help us, oh God, and you will visit each and every one of us tonight in Jesus' name. Wherever the brethren are connected, either in Nigeria, in UCR, okay, Father, we are praying, oh God, distance is not a barrier. Lord, we are praying that tonight, oh God of heaven, you will come down, oh Lord, even into this camp, into any place where we are gathering together. You begin to visit and distribute your blessings unto Jesus' name. Every force of darkness that wants to stand as a barrier to our praying tonight will stand against all those activities of the wicked and we command them to be bound in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord. My spirit, soul, and body shout hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. My spirit, soul, and body praise the Lord. My spirit, soul, and body praise the my spirit, soul, and body shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tonight, we want to worship God in the beauty of holiness. We want to praise God with the whole of our hearts. The Bible enjoins us in Psalm 103. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Come to think about all the benefits that God of heaven has wrought in your life, in my life. Look at the journey of 2023. Pause a little and think back, and look back and think, and see a lot of water has passed under the bridge. So many have gone. So many have died. God of heaven is still keeping you and preserving you and your family. We have every cause to appreciate God tonight. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to praise God tonight? Please, can you please join me as we worship God? Let's give all the praises unto King of Kings. Let's give all the praises unto the Lord of Lords. Let's appreciate God once again. The way God started this year with us in a dynamic way in a glorious way, in a way that no woman being could even understand. Why don't you open your mouth and praise God and say, Father, thank you once again, O oh Lord. As we cast our mind to look at all that you have done, God, you have been so gracious. God, you have been so nice. God, you have been so good. God, you have been so wonderful. Please open your mouth and begin to appreciate God tonight. He led us all through the month of January. 
He led us all through the month of February. He led us all through the month of March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and this is October. This is just the middle of October. We want to say, Father, thank you once again, oh God. Open your mouth and give him all the glory. Open your mouth and appreciate God tonight and say, Father, thank you once again because is that so you have helped us, oh God. Ebenezer, Ebenezer, is that so God of everyone has helped you? See how many journeys you have made, either by air, on the road, even through, uh, uh, you know, the waters and all that. And yet God did not allow any of these things to swallow you up. Why don't you open your mouth and give him all the praises of um, and all the praises? Thank him for all the benefits. Benefit of preservation, benefit of protection, benefit of you know sustenance, benefit of the Lord in our lives on every side. Please give him all the praises tonight. Give him all the praises. I'm not hearing us praying, brethren. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and give all the glory to God. Let's appreciate God. Please, let's try to unmute ourselves. Unmute yourself. Please, it's a time for us to pray. It's a time for us to seek the face of God as leaders and pastors in the vineyard of the Lord. The Lord expects us to really pray for the people that we are leading. Open your mouth and give him all the praises. Let's unmute ourselves, please. Let's unmute. Let's, obedience is better than sacrifice. Let's give all the glory unto God of heaven tonight. We want to say, Father, thank you so much. Is that to you have helped us, oh God? Lord, we are grateful unto you, God of heaven. Thank you once again. Oh Lord, we praise your name for every member yes, of this thank you, Lord. on this platform. Yes. Even if our, our respect you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, thank you, Lord. 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 David, in his right thought, in Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24, we know it very well. He says, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. I want to tell you that everything that we are seeing all around us that is happening now, you are very much aware of what is happening in Middle East, between Israel and Palestine. And all the Arab nations are joining. All the superpower they are trying to join. It's almost becoming like third world war. Now, I want you to understand something. Everything that is happening right now is fulfilling the scriptures. It's fulfilling the word of God. And that is the more reason why we want to examine ourselves. How prepared are we for the coming of the Lord? How prepared are we? Because the time is drawing closer and closer. We want to check up our lives. We want to examine our lives. We want to examine our attitude. We want to check up. We want to look in all. Open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, Oh, Lord, I come to present myself unto you. Because we don't know what next. The trumpet can sound at any time. Are we fit for this, glor I mean, for this glorious heaven? Are we ready for this glorious heaven? We want to open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. And say, God of heaven, here we come to you, oh, Lord. Let your mercy prevail upon each and every one of us. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. How will it be after all these years? 
How will it be after all these years of preaching? How will it be after all these days of carrying the Bible? And yet you're not able to make it to heaven eventually. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God tonight and say, Great God, I come to you once again, O Lord. To you, Lord. Father, I submit to you. I submit myself to you. Myself and my family, I submit to you. Lord, as we resist and overcome the enemy, oh Lord, I present my, uh, my family to you, Lord. Lord, we submit to you, Lord. We submit to you, Lord. Lord, we pray, let your name be hallowed. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done in our lives on earth as it is in heaven, Lord. It is your will be done. Your will be done. Your will be done in our lives. Your will be done. Yes, your will be done. Your will, Lord. We ask you for your will, Lord. As we submit to you, submit to your will, Lord. Let your will be done, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, I submit myself, my family to you, Lord. Amen. 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 You know, when the Lord Jesus Christ was writing, when he sent the message through Apostle John in Revelation, there's something he said, and which we need to take note about very, very well. And uh, he, he said something in Revelation chapter 2. He said, that which thou hast, that which you have already, hold it fast. Hold it fast that no man take thy crown. Hold it. You have salvation, hold it fast. You have sanctification, hold it fast. You have the word of God, the word of truth, hold it fast. You are, you are in the fellowship of God, bread of the, of the people of God, hold it fast that no man will take your crown. Let me tell you, if one is not careful, at the dying minute, don't forget the word of Jesus, they are very powerful words. He said, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. You want to pray and say, God, help me, that no man will take my place, no man will take my crown. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Because we are approaching the time of the end. Open your mouth that this is the end time. Everything that we have seen is happening rapidly. We want to thank God and say, Father, please help me once again, O oh God. No man will take my crown, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and say, Father, please help me once again, O oh God. Yes, Lord, that nothing can be well against me, Lord. But you, Lord, that you are for me and my family, and for the church, that nothing can be well against us. Nothing can be well against us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for sanctifying us with the blood of Jesus, Lord. Lord, sanctify us with the blood of Jesus. Sanctify us, peace of body, with the blood of Jesus, Lord. That nothing can prevail against us as we walk in holiness. Amen. 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 We want to pray once again, brethren. We're living in the time of the end, the end time. Yes. So many mighty people are falling by the wayside. I used to know of a man of God. I remember those days when we used to have cassettes. When we are going to Bagada, you'll be hearing the man's voice, preaching, and all that. In fact, uh, sometimes last year or so, when I heard that this man fell into immorality, oh my God, I was I was like shedding tears. I said, God, God, 
This was a man that I so much respect. He's not a deeper life member. He's not, I don't even know that man, but at least I've listened to his message severally and so powerful. And so many ministers like that falling into one thing or the other. We want to tell God, Lord, it remains just a little while for us to see the Lord. We want to pray that God will hold our hands. The Lord will sustain us in this end time. He will sustain us in our commitment. He will sustain us in our consecration. He will sustain us in holiness. He will sustain us in our prayer life. He will sustain us in evangelism. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, God, oh Lord, I need the support of heaven. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Remember the Bible said the soul that the vigilant Lord. Oh, I ask him for your help, your grace, to continue to walk in holiness, your grace, to continue to evangelize. Lord, I need your grace to continue to believe in you, to trust you, to depend on you and you alone, God. Yes. Father, Continue to be my shepherd and you alone. Yes, I trust you. I choose to depend on you, Lord. And to fix my eyes on you and you alone, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. I force you, Lord. I choose to trust you and you alone, Lord. Not protect me from all the attacks of the enemy, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord, to see all the traps of the enemy and to avoid them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We want to pray for ourselves once again, brethren. It's a time of renewal, ministerial renewal, because we have been laboring, working tirelessly, praying for others, interceding here, preaching the word of God, doing one thing or the other. We want to pray. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. And that's why we are here tonight. We want to ask God and say, dear Father, please renew my strength, O God. Let a refreshing power, refreshing fire from heaven, let it come once again upon my heart, O God. Particularly as we are starting this new week. We want to ask God and say, Father, once again, oh Lord, deposit your refreshing fire, fire in our spirit, in our soul. We become a carrier of the power and the presence of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God tonight. Let's Amen. open our mouth and pray to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking that you renew my strength. Physical, mental, spiritual, emotional strength. We know my strength. We know my strength, Lord. We know my strength, oh Lord. We know my strength, Lord. Yes, we know my strength, oh God. We know my strength, oh Lord. We know my strength, Lord. And this coming. Lord, increase your fire in me, yes. Increase your fire in me, Lord. Yes. Refreshing power. I'm asking for, Lord. Renew your power in me. Renew your fire. Increase your fire in my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We want to pray in Genesis chapter 6. Even though there were, the Bible says, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great on the earth, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. Now, toward the latter part of that in verse 9, he said, but Noah, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Remember that time that was violence? Remember that time there was immorality on a full scale? Remember that time there was corruption everywhere. There was defilement. Yes, there was a man, a man, a just man. The Bible says Noah, he found grace in the eyes of the Lord. You are going to pray and say, God, bring me into favor with your God. Lord, let me find grace in your eyes, O God. Father, let me find grace in your eyes tonight. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. That God will renew his grace in our heart, in our soul, in our spirit, all together. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You don't want to be like an 
ordinary Christian? You want to be an extraordinary Christian with extraordinary power and the fullness of the power and the, and the grace of God upon our lives and upon yes. our souls. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking for you God, that more of your grace in my life, God, more of your grace in my life. Lord, oh, Lord, 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 asking for protection, yes. Your grace is sufficient for me. 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 Lord, may I find favor in your eyes, Lord. May I find favor in your eyes, Lord. Lord, May I stand on your shoes, Lord. Lord, give me to love you more. Give me to love you more. Love you, Lord. We are to stand on your word, Lord. Amen. Amen. Very in the next few minutes, I'm rounding off, and I'm going to hand over to our beloved pastor, Pastor Ali. But let me just say this before I do that: the year is running to an end. And this is October. Very soon we enter to the month of, of uh, November, and then we talk about December. We want to pray to God. The little that remain, the little that I remain for the year to round off. We want to pray. We want to tell God, God, preserve our lives, preserve every member of our family, our young ones, our wives, our husband, our children our acquaintances, our relations, you want to pray and say, God, watch over us, oh God, preserve us. Even those who are traveling, the Lord will preserve us. No accident will clear the life of anyone. Please open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. That God of heaven will watch over everyone, every member of our family. The Lord will preserve us in the day, in the night. In the name of Jesus. Yes. God, but I'm asking you for your protection, Lord, protection upon me, my family, it just it remain in upon our God, brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord, protection throughout this month of October, Lord, we ask for your protection at home, protection in our going and coming back. Protection in schools, in our workplace, Lord. We ask for your, your presence with us, Lord. May you surround us with your mighty angels, Lord. Father, may you surround us with the hedge of fire, day and night, Lord, and protect us, Lord, in our services. services. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please, I hand over to Pastor Ali, please. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Pastor Shego. I say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, without going to much preambles, when the pastor told me this afternoon that I should come and assist in this prayer session, I was just thinking, God, what do you want me to share with my fellow pastor? The Spirit of God began to tell me that we need to talk about development. And that is why in a brief moment, if I call Pastor Matthew, let me just talk about development, our development. As pastors, there's a need for us to develop. This is pastor's prayer meeting. It's quite different from general prayer meeting. Now, we need to have time for study and meditating on scriptures. We need to spend time regularly reading and studying the Bible. For us to be effective in this prayer ministry, we need to study, we need to meditate on scriptures. Before we come to minister to people, we must go through the scriptures. We must apply the scripture to ourselves and then the Spirit of God will not take over, will not be ministering to us. Number two, we need constant prayer life. I don't mean you have your quiet time. It's very good. It's very important. But constant prayer life. Constantly, you set a time to pray. I heard about uh, Baba Lola. Every 6 a.m., he call for prayer. Every 9 a.m., he call for prayer. Every 12th moon, he call for prayer. Every 3 p.m., he call for prayer. Every 6 p.m., he call for prayer. He pray around the clock. Around the clock. 
as a minister, you have a specific time you meet with the, with the Lord. As a minister, we must have a specific time. This is the spiritual routine, success of all ministers of God. And I also tell you about Pastor W.F. Kumuyi. Maybe you have heard it before from me, I will still tell you. In those, those days in Old Bagada, every 1 p.m., 1 p.m., Pastor W.F. Kumuyi on Wednesday for counseling, he will, you know, he will stop everything he's doing. He will go and he go and read the Bible. He said he do that for himself, not for the people, for himself. He said he pray. He said, he said if you come for counseling, there you are crying, you are dying. Mm -mm. He will go into a closet, he will read the Bible, he will pray for himself. He said he had that time. And you see, all successful ministers, this is the routine of their lives. I'm telling you a secret now. I'm telling you a real secret. This is a routine of their life. They have specific time they meet with the Lord. And they key to that time. Do you remember Daniel? Three times in the day, he had that time, he keep to it. Do you remember uh, David? Nine times in a day, he offered praises to God. They have specific time they meet with the Lord. Let's try to develop our private prayer life. Let's not run away from prayers, pastors. These are things that we need to, be, you know, when we are praying, our prayers should be more than the way ordinary members pray. Sometimes I listen to some of us when we pray, oh God, help me, oh God, give me grace. Those, those they are good prayers. But the specific prayer point we need as pastors, you pray for guidance, you pray for wisdom, you pray for strength. We pray for God's presence in our life all the time. And it's very important, we need to pray for the presence of God all the time in our life as pastors and ministers of the word of the Lord. So we must spend time to pray. It's very, very important. The presence of God and Moses prayed that prayer often. Moses prayed that prayer often. That let your presence go with me. When last have we prayed, ask God for his divine presence in our closet. When last have we prayed for God? As we know, for God bless to, to, to overwhelm us that as we come to minister like this, the praise of God in our life will minister salvation, ministry deliverance to the people. Please, let's try to develop our prayer life as well in this pastor's prayer meeting. Let's pray for wisdom. Many, many pastors do not have wisdom. I'm telling you the facts. I'm telling you the truth. Many ministers, they lack wisdom. Wisdom wisdom from, from the word of God. They, 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 they lack the wisdom of God. But as pastors and ministers, let pray, let's pray for wisdom. Wisdom in our life. Wisdom in our ministry. Because we met people, we counsel people. People come, we, we advise them. People come, we give them direction how to go about their life without wisdom. Remember Solomon. When God was asking what, God, what he needed in his life, he said, God, give me wisdom to guide all these people. And what Solomon do not request from, God had it into his life. Because these are things we need to be praying for. Are we, are, do we normally pray for, 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 for guidance, for wisdom, for divine presence of God? We need all those prayers, pastors. Let our prayer go beyond the Mary Mary. God, give me a recharge card. God, give me, give me butter. God, I want to buy this. I want to buy a house. Those things are good. Let's give all those prayer requests for the members. Let's pray. Let's, let's, let's climb up higher. I was told, Pastor Kumo, he said it in one of the Congress. He said he didn't pray for food. He didn't pray for material blessing. He didn't pray for the greatest prayer of his life, this kingdom, that kingdom come. He, 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 he so focused his prayer on God's kingdoms. When last have we prayed for missionary in the mission field? Supporting in our prayer life. And they also, may also say this as pastors, we should not forget to always stand in the gap for the people we are needing. We intercede on their behalf. They come with problem. These are the qualities that God expects from our life. Our life should go beyond, beyond the surface. And I pray, God will give us a grace in Jesus' name. Amen. No, but also, we also need a spiritual mentor. Who is your mentor? Pastor Kumi mentor is John Wesley. We all know John Wesley's Pastor Kumi mentor. Who is your own mentor? You don't have a mentor. You're a pastor. You should have a mentor. If our father in the Lord has a mentor, what about you? 
Who is your mentor? Who is mentor mentoring you? You are just who are Nigerians, you are a pastor. You have, you have, ah, no, it's very dangerous, my brother. That is why many pastors chisel out. That is why many pastors are, are not fully prepared. They chisel out. You must have a mentor. A mentor. So that by the grace of God, this mentor will be mentoring you, needing you, providing guidance for you. You need a mentorship. Also, finally, you need to have a personal retreat as a pastor. Personal retreat. At least in a month, you can have one day of personal retreats. Maybe you are so busy. In the night, five hours of personal retreats. Grab it from 10 to, from 10 to 3 or 4. You, 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 you read the Bible. You go through the outline. You pray. So you pray something to your life. We need to develop. Let me tell you, if you are not growing, you are decaying. That is the truth about it. If we are not growing spiritually, we are dying spiritually. I pray that God will help us to develop in Jesus' name. Amen. And also, we should also take care of our health. Take care of your health. You understand? Uh, one of our pastors in the platform here now, I don't know why he's not, why he's not uh, uh, online. Sometimes if they call him, Pastor so and so, he will say, ah, this one is your neighbor, 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 and all that. I need to rest. I don't want to receive a call and all that. He was saying that with us. Okay, that is good. That he said he wants to have time to rest. Fine, good. You need to rest. Have time to rest. Like, deeper life, Sunday is a, is, is a day of activity. I'm telling you, Sometimes if I if I go to church in the morning, if I come back in the evening time, it's a day of activity. We have loaded with too much activity on Sunday in Lagos here. Too much activity. And you must have your time to rest. Take care of your health. Most yeah. times you see pastors preaching and then they collapse. We have a retreat in Lagos uh, sometimes again, uh, I beat in uh, DLCC. One of the ministers was preaching and they he fought and he collapsed. He when he fought down, people were saying, ah, they began to pray every demon, every arrow. Then they carry him to take care of him. It was the wife that was telling us. The church was in the altar. It was the wife that was telling us that his husband did not eat for three days. He was doing dry fasting. And he went to the church with, with, with fasting. Ah. And, and that um, POCC author, the eat there, the eat is too much. And the brother fell down, not demo, because he did not, he did not take care of his health. You understand? Mm. So please take care of your health. Eat, eat the normal time you're supposed to eat and the rest so we can serve longer. May, the, may God give us wisdom. May God give us understanding. And I want to see this pastor prayer meeting. Let's develop, let's go more higher than the ferry ferry. Let's let's pray some victory into our life. You are a pastor. Have you been? Are you have you are you baptized in the Holy Ghost? That's what this will be concerned about. Do you have the gift of discernment? Do you have the gift of knowledge? Do you have the word of prophecy? Do you have do, do you have the gift of interpretation of tongues? That's what this will be hammering up. We be challenging ourselves up. We should come up higher. And when God see that we are seeking after spiritual thing, every other blessing will come upon our lives. That's the truth of it. Who is your mentor? Look for a mentor that will mentor you. Have a mentorship to mentor you, for you to develop, for you to grow. By the grace of God, I am being this Christian. For, I give my life to the Lord Jesus Christ, 1988, February 4th. At 1990, I become a worker in Bagada. 35 years, I have been in the kingdom. For good and three years, I have been in the vineyard, working for the Lord. I first, of, I first of all start with, with ushery work in Marco Kwe Waya District. But if it happens in the line, we know about it. So with ushery work, from ushery work, the Lord promote me to become a, a house fellowship leader. From there, I go home until they make me a group, uh, a group, uh, what do you call it, a group follow up rep. From there, I go home, they make me now a, one of the location pastor. I, you see, you keep, on, you keep on developing by the grace of God. Today, when I was preaching in my in our service today, I, I, need, I need to wake up the people. Because you must have something to give your people every time you come to minister to the people. So please, we must develop. It's necessary. So that every time we call, we have something good. And we have message from the Lord to give to the people. May God in his power, may God in his mercy, help us to go from this level to a greater level in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And also, may I also say this, please, in addition, some of our pastors are not attending the pastor's prayer meeting. 
In fact, we we have seven pin pastors in the prayer list in the in the platform. Most of them for the whole year, they are no many of them. We don't have them. They are not in the platform. They are not um, communicating and engaging. How we source pastor? How will they grow with us? Even though so the prayer list, we don't see them. So um um on um, Monday, I understand. Monday is people go to their place of work in the morning. I understand. But then Thursday in the night around around o'clock. Saturday by 1 p.m. By 1 p.m. Sunday here yeah, in Nigeria by 9 a.m. We don't see the pastors in the prayer meeting. We don't see the pastors, please. And let's try to share for ourselves. Sometimes if I discover so I say something, the prayer, the prayer, I give, I give, I give, I give them a call. What happened? We didn't see you. And so the reason is not somehow just some reason that they can just just brush it aside and keep keep shaking. Let's check each other. The Lord will help us. We Amen. will make it. The Lord Amen. will give us grace. The Lord will Amen. help us to accomplish things. And some of our members, like Sister Esther, that have been regular in our prayer Amen. platform, Amen. where we post, Sister Amen. Esther will repost Amen. again. Amen. Now, she has a challenge with her phone. With her, phone. her phone is damaged. And uh, she cannot connect again. And she just need to put the phone in order. As he said, we should not pray for God, we provide, we provide for her. You see, we should be a one another's body and be able to, be able people that are useful, we should be able to actually maintain them so that God, by his grace, will not, will not lose people that are useful in our platform. May God give us wisdom. May God Amen. help us. Let's go to God in prayer now. Ask the Lord to revive your prayer life. Just pray, oh God, revive my prayer life. Take me to the next level. Take me to a new dimension. The dimension of your presence. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. I want to hear pastors pray. This is pastor's Lord, prayer meeting now. Jesus. This is pastor's prayer meeting. Lord, this is pastor's prayer Lord, meeting. Pray for the wisdom of God Lord, in your life as ministers of the gospel. Commit yourself to the hands of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Except you are in a noisy area or you are busy that you emote yourself. But if you are, if you know, if you are in a place that you can pray, why can't you emote yourself and join us in prayer? Yeah, please, I want to hear us pray. Open your mouth and pray. You are going to pray this prayer. Oh God, advertise your power in my life. Oh God, advertise your glory in my life. Open your mouth and pray and call upon the Lord. That God we have advertised His power in your life. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. 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 The Bible say, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. Yes. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your whole men shall do dreams. <coughs> you are going to pray. Oh God, pour the spirit of prophecy upon my life. 
Oh God, upon the spirit of, of knowledge upon my life. Yes. Oh, your spirit, let your spirit overwhelm me. Yes. Have you received the Holy Ghost? If I don't to receive the Holy Ghost, tonight may be your night. I said to ask you to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. That you will see the Holy Ghost. The Lord will see the Holy Ghost. He must see you in the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost has got to pour his spirit upon your life. So the Lord pour your spirit upon my life so that I can lift up Jesus. Oh God, pour your spirit upon my life so that I can lift up Jesus. Do you have the spirit of revelation? As you receive the Holy Ghost, you see the lead. What did you ask the Lord? To baptize you the power of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. I don't know if you don't speak to me. Jesus, Spirit upon my life, the anointing of God upon me, as the Lord will anoint you fresh with fresh oil. And I shall be anointed with fresh oil, as the Lord will pour his anointing, his unction, his power, his authority upon your life. God, God will take care of his ministers. God will take care of his ministers. The next level, God will take care of his ministers. In the name of Jesus, God will take care of his ministers. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Thank
and he said, my fellow pastor, God said, I should bless you with this G. The brother said, no, 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 no. The brother said, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it because if I receive it now, I don't know. God will not be happy. When he was telling me that, I said, pastor, I said, pastor, I said, I said you need guidance. Said, you, need guidance. You, need you need assignment. You need assignment. You are a full-time. You are a full-time. not a part-time uh, pastor. Part pastor. A full-time pastor. A full-time pastor. And you are not working circularly. And God has to take care of you. When God is raising people to take care of you, you don't reject it. And I, I, I need to cancel him or take the right decision. And God actually intervened. The question is, who is your mentor? Do you have a mentor at all? I pray that may God Almighty grant us wisdom so that in our ministry, we will not just be neighboring, 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 neighboring. We will neighbor, we will see the fruits, and the fruit will abide in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you so thank you so much, uh, Pastor Shego, for giving me the opportunity to take this up, to take uh to need the people of God in this session of being pastor's prayer meeting. My time is up. Pastor Matthew, please over to you, sir. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Uh, yeah. our has gone before the other group take over i will read for all from the book of exodus he said you shall serve the lord look at what the bible said he said you shall serve the lord and he will bless your bread and i will take sickness away from you it's a step one then step two uh, before we go uh, in case, go in case I, last, I, Sunday I, last Sunday was, was sleeping, but please, uh, now I'm very sorry to see this. This is getting to 12 o'clock now. Since yesterday, I've not slept. Since that yesterday, till now, I've not slept. You know, I work in the night, and Saturday is preparatory. So in case I slept again today, let me give you the number, 434-973-2109. Four three four nine seven three two one zero nine. In case uh, something like that of Sunday still happened, so the Bible now say you shall serve the you, you shall serve the Lord your God, and He will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from from among you. So now we will now call upon the name of the Lord, Father, wisdom, Lord, now mm. or the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to serve you, to dedicate my life unto you, to do not look at the right, to do not look at the left, to do not look at what I'm going to eat, to do not look at what I'm going to drink, to do not look, I want to build, I want to build out, to do not look, I want to build, I want to buy a car. You consider the example our pastor gave, the man is serving the Lord, then somebody said, I will give you Jeep. Not that the Jeep came, now he now said, okay, I will use it to serve the Lord, no. Is it, the Bible say the, the Bible say you shall serve the Lord, and He will bless your bread and your water. So what concern you is to serve the Lord. Live, I will, I will bless your bread and your water. Leave it for God and see. He will not call upon the name of the Lord. Almighty, Almighty God, everything that be an hindrances, everything that be an obstacle, that do not let me serve you with all my heart. With all the way I want to serve you, Father, remove it from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. Rededicate your life to the Lord. Rededicate your time to the Lord. Rededicate. So not think that, that I've been serving the Lord for 10 years. Leave that one for God. Are you God? Leave me. Leave me for God. And I've been doing this for a donkey year, but I've not received reward. Leave that one for God. And God lie. He will, he will he reward you. Why are you worrying yourself? Why are you bothering Why are you bother yourself? Instead of thinking in that way, why can't you go on your knees and pray for soul to and pray for soul that is going down the rain, the other is going down the hill? Instead of thinking about that, that, why can't you say, God, open my eyes? What do I need to do as I have not done for you? Instead of thinking about that, why can't you say, God, I have no satisfaction in my mind. I see that I have not served you alone. Give me more faith to serve you. God, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. If it is, I know if it is by prayer of blessing, you will shout. If it is the prayer of money, you will, you will shout. If it is the prayer of, if the prayer of, if the prayer of Say to me that you will serve, but in the prayer of Father, let me serve you. Open my eyes, open my eyes, let me serve you. Open my eyes, 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 open my e
Me, what, 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 me, what, strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen me. Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to send me the blood? Guide me, guide me, Lord. Who do you want to send me to the blood? Help me to deliver the message. What do you want me to do, Lord? Help me to submit to you, Lord. Call upon the name of the 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 Lord. Let me be able to take this message to you. Let me be able to serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, God. Let us just stand up for us, sir, before these people, before the other church take over, sir. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, we give you all the glory. We appreciate you tonight. Thank you so much for the way you have led us. Thank you for the challenge you have given to us. Thank you for the charge. Thank you once again for the encouragement that we need to really develop ourselves as ministers, as, home, as leaders, as pastors. Father, we are praying, oh God, all this word of admonition you have given to us, help us to walk with it, oh God. And every one of us, we shall go up higher in the strength of the Lord, in the power of the Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We are praying, O oh God of heaven, as we take our time to wait upon you, God. I pray, God, you will renew our strength. 